All right, today what we're going to make is a wireframe cubo octahedron. And in order to make the cubo octahedron, you need to make eight of these uh, triangular or trihex triangular uh, frames. So you'll see along the sides here, I've already made uh, eight. <clears throat> uh, the ones on this side have one polarity, the ones on this side have the opposite polarity. Now these are how I make these figures. I make a um, two by six trihexagon and I make a three by five trihexagon. And I come in here and I simply lay these two on top of each other. You'll see that they're overlapped there. Then I simply come back and I take out the centers. So there you have it. That's how I make the frames. Now the interesting part about this figure <clears throat> is how it's put together. As I said, this is one polarity, this is another. When I put them together, you'll see that I have the three ball side facing up on both of them. And I come in and I lay the two here right in there. They fit together very nicely but you see how it's kind of non-symmetrical. Well this is where the interesting part comes. You take the one on the left and you kind of pull up and you take the one on the right and you kind of push down and it slides into a nice interconnected. Then you just simply <clears throat> grab one of the others here and do again, you slide it into place slide it in slide it in and there we have one half of our cubo octahedron you put the rest of them on here sure I get the right polarity. There we go. And it just again slides or shifts into place. There we go. And for the last one I kind of lay it on top all the way around. So you can see how it's kind of offset there. And again, I just go to each one, kind of a push-pull, and slide it into place. Oops. There we go. Sometimes. So there you have your cubo octahedron. Very cool construction. I like it because uh, it uses, uh, you know, two different polarities to make the connections. You can make these, of course, of different sizes. Here are uh, the three smaller sizes I've made. And the cool thing about these is they interconnect nicely. As long as you get the right sides, because again, you get different polarities. There we go. <clears throat> so out in there, I have a nice uh, pyramid of cubo octahedrons. And as you can see from uh, my cloths and accessories, I made these uh, with Zen magnets. The greens are actually the uh, Neo balls that uh, Zen magnets will soon be selling. And this is a cool shape because uh, once you've got it made, you can extend the triangular or the square faces with different uh, things uh, and make some really cool figures. So give that a try and uh, see what you think. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Have a good day.